previously on Quiche Confidential. All right, this is a crazy backwards clock, but it's 10 past eight in the morning on the day of the last episode of Lost, which obviously means we're gonna make a... Elephant quiche and bacons and cheese and other things, and I don't even know, I'm so tired. Oh we're gonna make a breakfast quiche. Cheese. These are the ingredients. Bacon. Uh, eggs. Where, the eggs are over there. Uh, there's more cheese. I know, but I don't think it needs that much cheese. Oh. Otherwise, the fridge is broken, by the way. Fridge, it smells like an anus. It doesn't. It kind of does. It smells like a quite an appetizing anus. Oh, uh, where is the sausage? You need sausage. Sausages are in here, frozen sausages. There. Oh, that's wonderful. Roy the duck is gonna help us make it. I just cleaned some LFMs, which are large flat mushrooms for those who don't know, and some onions. And now we're gonna need a bowl so we can mix so eggs, a crap, crap load of eggs, milk, and flour. We need two thirds of a cup of milk, six eggs, and some flour, third cup of flour. Mm -hmm. I don't know where all these things are. Where's the big bowl? It's in here. I'm cracking the eggs into a bowl. Crack, 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 Five eggs. Oh no! Ah! Yeah, six eggs. Wait, we haven't made the cage or watched Lost yet. What are you doing? I oh, know. Shit. Shit. Real life. Where are you going? I'm going to work. Work? I know. Fucking loser. Sausages in pan. We've got a measuring jug which has <laughs> flour. If you couldn't pick up that pitch on your computer speakers. <laughs> so why did you get? Why did you get the people involved in this? And what are you doing? Something making, unrelated. I'm making teas and coffees so that people have. But how are you doing it? How are you doing it? For people only to know. For quiche confidential. Oh, now we're gonna mix the beep out of it. You wanna be useful? I'm an egg engineer. Apparently so. Actually, I'm just lazy, because I have to cut other things. What are we cutting now? Wow, you're onions. very cranky in the morning. I can't cut onions if I don't have a... She can't cut onions if she doesn't have a, a, a knife. Yeah. You can't cut much things if you don't have a knife, exactly. though. Exactly. Where are we have a knife? We have a really fucking show kitchen. Buddy. Of course it's a fucking well, knife. Oh, they've... There. Coffee. That's sharp. Look at me being useful. Oh yes. Chop into onions because um, they are bowl. so tasty. Where was that chopping board bought from? The chopping board came from, it was a pack of several and I can't remember where it came from. This isn't very good for uh, no, Cage Confidential. Home, like, people at home are curious <laughs> to know. For fuck's sake. <laughs> and the sausages are still in the pan. We are now destroying the large flat mushroom. <laughs> Fucking showed that cunt. <laughs> no, I really can't show this to my parents. Thanks. I need to make bacon's. Two the, for four pounds. Are they getting fried first or not? Uh, yeah, they gotta fry them first because they gotta spell lost. Right. Coffee. Mmm. Ring. It's out of service. <laughs> I didn't want to mix anymore. Joey was too gay to do the mixing, so he's taking a tea break, and Lap's taking over with the mixing. Mix faster! Lap did a, such a good job mixing the eggs. Not like somebody who's out of service. Out of service? <laughs> he's gay. Stuff going into stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, we're mixing all the LFM and the onion together. Uh, it looks like sort of dog vomit at the moment. It really it? does, and you know what? It's probably not gonna taste like that. It's probably gonna taste very good, but. Probably, yeah, like, it could taste like dog vomit. It's still the, uh, the doubt in there. Too. 
Well, let's talk about it. And the sausages have now left the pan. <laughs> These sausages are still hot, but I'm burning my fucking fingers. Oh, don't be so good. Cutting them. I'm not being a baby. I'm explaining how it works. This is quiche confidential. Oh, it hurts so much. Yeah, your fingers are made out of. <laughs> and now the pieces of sausage, mm. badly cut, are going into the. Uh, smells good though. The quiche. Mm. Stuff in this quiche. It's quite a lot of stuff. It is a lot of stuff. Um, I don't. <laughs> It'll be fine. Professor Layton, you have so my babies. What temperature? Uh, <laughs> 170 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! And how long do we put it in the oven for? Half an hour to an hour. You just gotta keep checking on it. Keep checking. So we're gonna keep checking on that mother fudger. Mother fudger. And then get back to you. Yeah. Mother fudgers. Change of pan. We're using a flatter pan for the bacon because it's good for the environment. Crispiness. The crispiness, that was it. You can get this from uh, Magical Land of Ponies. What sells pans? Lightly lubricate the grooves and then slap the meat onto it. Why wouldn't it be you? No, you don't have very many subscribers. Right, this is serious issues. We're both going to put this on our YouTube channels. If you've watched this on my YouTube channel and like it, watch it again on Molly's YouTube channel because she's desperate for subscribers. No! The bacon is now cooking. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle! What did you just do there, that? I flipped the bacon over. Okay. <laughs> This is, uh, what's this method of bacon flipping known as in the trade? It's called flipping. Flipping. So you saw it here first. Bacon flipping. We're going to cut out words into it and it's going to say... Rumorously on the wall. I don't know what it's going to say. I want a picture of Desmond instead. I can't make a picture of oh, Desmond of bacon. This might be the first time in the world that someone has used Kellogg's Rice Krispies for on, a quiche. On top of a quiche. What I'm doing, we don't have a mortar and pestle, so I'm putting some Rice Krispies into a Tesco bag and crushing them like this. What technique? It's so satisfying. What are you saying about this quiche? That it's going to be freaking tasty. I like tasty, greasy quiche. So do I. So what are you doing with the bacon here? I'm making uh, letters. What letter have you made there? That's an O. An O. An L. Oh, you're gonna spell LOL. Hell yeah! Lols. <laughs> mm, smells, smells very cheesy. Mm. <laughs> Maybe a bit too cheesy already. Rice Krispies <laughs> traditionally go on top of a quiche. I don't think so. We They've got to be crushed to perfection. Yep. There's a fine line between not crushed enough and too crushed, which I just learned. Well, if they were too crushed, then they wouldn't be crispy. It would just be crummy, and you'd inhale Rice crispy. Are dust. we allowed to say crummy? Shut up. Now we're doing the most important bit of the quiche making, which is sitting in the sun. It's quite a nice day having in the forest, tea. isn't it? Yes, we're having a tea in the forest. This is what they do in England. <laughs> Get into the hatch or the kitchen is gonna explode. Press the button. Let's reset everything. <laughs> reset, reset. There. We're all safe another day. And the finishing touch, it now says. Lost. It is coming out. Ooh. Slightly cooked, now it says lost. On top of the quiche. And this is the lost quiche. Mm, the bacon's all nice and crispy. It smells like quiche. Mm -hmm. So even though it doesn't have a crust, it's still quiche. That's right. Premium bond. How's the quiche? I haven't tried it yet. Have you tried it yet? Do you like it? Yeah. Delicious. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna watch. Lost.